Not too long ago, Mr. Aaron built a home theater PC right here, right here, practically <laughs> there. Well, in my well, living room, but well, okay. I brought it. <laughs> I think I ordered the parts here. <laughs> we bring this up because you've been playing around with a new BIOS and yeah. some tweaks and have basically rebuilt your home theater PC. And I quote, things are always a bit cleaner the second time around. What'd you do, man? Totally. Well, added the new BIOS that I downloaded from the Zotac USA website that was, it didn't really fix a lot, but it added a few new temperature monitoring features mm -hmm. that I appreciated. It's a really cool running system, but I am overclocking it quite a bit, and I just wanted to make sure everything's cool there. And I always find that if there's a new BIOS file and it's been out for a little while and nobody's complaining about it, why not put that on? Of course, when I was digging around in the BIOS, I found a couple other hard drive-related settings that if you tweak those, mm -hmm. you pretty much have to reinstall the operating system. Otherwise, within Windows, at least, it just blue screens. What so. kind of hard drive settings would you be tweaking in the BIOS that would... Uh, that would, it, what, what did you get? Power from? management, better power management with the drives and better monitoring for the hard mm -hmm. drive. So yeah, I end up always forgetting that one setting. It's usually buried in some menu. Did that, found it, nailed it. And then I also uh, just decided to start looking at what files I was actually storing on the mm -hmm. device compared to what's on my NAS that's connected in my in the house anyway, the network attached storage device that I use for all my movies. Well, I decided to get all the audio off of that too and put that back on the network attached storage as well. So well, I actually have far fewer files now on the darn thing and I'm wondering, I probably could have went with uh, even less storage than I ended up putting on it. Short of things like bookmarks for certain websites and radio stations that I listen to that I keep uh, readily accessible, uh, I've moved all the audio and video now off of it, and it's just being streamed to the device where it's all played back there. So do you have like way too much hard drive now? I really do. I've got like probably 400 gigs of storage on there that I, I'm using probably 50. Arcsoft Total Media Theater Platinum. Three Platinum. is uh, That's the one software piece that I have on there. That's probably the most important piece of software I have mm -hmm. on there because that's for Blu-ray playback, DVD playback, and it also has a nice up conversion feature too for movie playback of DVDs that I don't get that same visual quality when I do it with uh, Windows Media Player. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a nice software there. Uh, other than that, it was just a chance also to make sure that if everything went haywire on that system, I could restore it pretty quick, mm -hmm. which it all went really well, bringing, I mean, basically moving data off and moving it back on with a clean build. I did come up with one wish list item, though. I would like a solid state hard drive for that thing. When the Faster prices come down, when the prices come down a little bit, I think that'll be the next thing I'll add to it, along with that seat and tuner, if it ever shows up, oh, please. And uh, <laughs> other than that, it's just, uh, it was really smooth. It, it, rebuild didn't take long at all, even on a relatively slow processor like the Intel Atom processor. Didn't take much time, and I'm really happy with the rebuild. I did have one oddity, though. Uh, you know that I'm using that PlayStation 3, Blu-ray remote control. Mm -hmm. I like Blu-ray controllers just in general. Ah, Blu-ray, Bluetooth controllers for the uh, player and the controlling the, the home theater PC. And I found that when the batteries were low, it would detect for the handshaking of the two components, but it wouldn't complete it until I put <laughs> new batteries in it. And that drove me, I probably spent a good, I had to sleep on it and finally do some searching on the internet. I said, you know what, replace the batteries. So if you ever have Bluetooth related problems with your devices, make sure you have fresh batteries in the darn thing and it saves a lot of problems. So. Good call. But I think the SSD, one. though, for just random access and mm -hmm. the, usually the boot up process, which once it's running, I just leave it running. But Forever. That, that'll be the next <laughs> little thing. Maybe I don't need a big one, though, either. It could be like 40 gigs, something like that would be perfect. Those are cheap. Uh, getting there. They're, they're cheap. Getting there. We'll go to the internet. I'll show you later. Okay. That I need to look at. <laughs>